everyone. Today's fairy tale story is Jack and the Beanstalk. A poor widow lived with her only son, Jack, in a small cottage. They had no money and the widow struggled to feed them. Every day she told her son, you must find a job. And every day Jack replied, I'll find one tomorrow. Times were hard and soon the widow had to sell her old brown cow. You must take her to market, she told Jack. Make sure you get a good price. On the way, Jack met a man. If you give me your fine cow, I will pay you with these magic beans, said the man. So Jack sold the cow and brought the beans home. His mother was furious. You silly boy, she cried. Now what will we eat? And she threw the beans out the window. The next morning there was a giant beanstalk in the garden, exactly where the beans had landed. It must be magic, thought Jack, and he began to climb the beanstalk. He climbed for miles and miles into the sky and finally saw a huge floating castle on the cloud. The castle belonged to a wicked giant who ate people for fun. Jack tiptoed inside and when he heard the giant returning, he crept inside the oven to hide. The giant came into the kitchen, roaring his song. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be him alive or be him dead, I'll crush his bones to make my bread. Then seeing no one was around, he sat a large white goose upon the table. Lay, he commanded, and the goose laid a golden egg. Lay! he said again, and the goose laid another golden egg. When there was 12 eggs on the table, the giant fell asleep. Jack climbed quietly out of the oven and he tucked the goose under his arm and ran out to the cottage, ran out to the castle and down the beanstalk as fast as his legs would carry him. At home, he showed the goose to his mother. Lay, commanded Jack and the goose laid a golden egg. Jack's mother was so happy she burst into tears and soon they had all the food they needed. But Jack was longing for another adventure. So back he climbed up the beanstalk. When the giant returned to his castle, Jack was hiding in the cupboard. Again, the, the giant roared, fee fi fo farm I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be him alive or be him dead, I'll crush his bones to make my bread. Then seeing no one was around, he sat down and counted his money. He soon fell asleep. Jack climbed quietly out of the cupboard and tucked the money bag under his arm and ran out of the castle and down the beanstalk as fast as his legs could carry him. At home, he showed the money to his delighted mother. Soon Jack was longing for another adventure, so back he climbed up the beanstalk. And when the giant returned to his castle, Jack was hiding in the wooden chest again. The giant roared, fee fi fo fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be him alive or be him dead, I'll crush his bones to make my bread. Then seeing no one round, he sat the golden harp upon the table. Play, he commanded, and the harp played a beautiful music. Stop! commanded the giant, and at last he fell asleep. Jack climbed, cl Jack climbed quietly out of the cupboard. He tucked the harp under his arm, and then he ran as fast as he could. But the harp cried out, Master, Master! And the giant woke up. The giant chased Jack out of the castle and down the beanstalk. Quick, mother, bring me my axe, cried Jack. And he chopped down the beanstalk, and that was the end of the giant. And Jackie's mother were rich and happy for the rest of their lives. Hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.